I am down here at the Great Southern Metro Park, which is a new Metro Park. I'm doing my third update and trying to find a way in because that fence is new. <laughs> so I gotta see if there's a way to get in around this fence without having to walk all the way over to that road, which may be what I have to do. Sure, I could just jump the fence, I guess. geese over there. Looks like somebody has been doing some fence jumping. I just see them in there working. So they're doing something. But we're going to find a way in. Okay, this is my third um, update on this park. So for those who are not familiar with this is a great southern metro park which is behind the old walmart which is no longer there basically the great southern shopping center down south high uh, this is a new metro park one of the two new ones the other one is banks run um i can't think of the name of the road it's on it's an old maybe an old ymca camp uh, this one here is due to open maybe next year I don't know but it's pretty nice you see they already got the restrooms up pavement it's crazy the restrooms are up here but yet quarry trails doesn't even have well they do now they got restrooms in the uh, office there by the dog park I will put a map of this one at the end. See them up here working. Hopefully they don't kick me out of here saying I'm not supposed to be in here. They may. I don't know. But uh, this I think is going to be a nice park. They got an old washout area that was washed out from a flood which is really cool. I'm not sure if they're going to leave that as it is. According to the way the map looks of the final design of this park, it looks to me like they're going to actually fill that with water. I don't know. Now, last time I was here, there was a bunch of old cars down there. I wish, I shouldn't say old cars, but cars. Um, some look like they've been burnt. Um, I talked to a ranger somewhere and they said that they believe they're probably old stolen cars that were dumped there. I don't know. Uh, this might be a pretty nice place when it's done. Like I said, this is the Great Southern Shopping Center over here. I'm going to pause this. Come on talk to these people up here all right I just get done talking to him he's actually a ranger at another park um, this is the only part of the area down here they've been doing any renovation work on they're waiting they haven't done any over there where the washouts at or over by the wetlands or anything because there's a bunch of red tape they got to go through so nothing's been done over there so I'm not even gonna bother going over there if you want to see that area, I'll put the links to my first two videos down in the description below and you can watch one of them and see that side over there. But like I say, since there has nothing been done over there, I'm not going to go over there today. He said this is all they've done. They paved this this summer. Um, uh, they don't have a date yet when it's going to open, but they're going to put some playgrounds in here. and. Uh, there's a pond in those woods straight ahead. They want to fix that to where the ponds drain into the wetlands. Um, that still hasn't been fixed yet. Um, mostly what they've been doing, they paved this and right now he's basically putting fine gravel along the edge here to take this little dip along the edge here so people don't fall and get hurt. Um, there's, the last time I was here, there's a bunch of old vehicles down there in the ravine. He said that they got most of them out of there. They said there might be a couple more down here. There's a homeless camp up here still. We're not going to go near that. 
but I'm gonna go down here in this ravine a little bit and see what it looks like down there but other than this pavement here and so forth that's pretty much all that's been done here can I get down over here I can't remember where I went down at before I don't think this was it I think they said it was up there by that telephone pole So most of the homeless camps are gone and the ones that are still here are in the process of moving out. I asked them if they found anything crazy in the woods yet because a lot of times you see this crazy stuff in like vehicles, old cemeteries and stuff like that. I said not yet, but they haven't really explored all the woods down here yet over there near the pond and stuff because they're still waiting on some paperwork to get done. So he says he don't know what they're gonna find in the woods over there. Down here used to be all these old vehicles. I mean, this is like lined with them. Tree frogs. I'm not gonna follow this, this this far because I wanna go back up. I wanna see if there's a path or something that'll lead me back into the pond. See if I can get a look at the pond. So this basically is just gonna take me back down that way. Um, the trail we were on up top, the pavement, he says what that they're gonna do with that is it's gonna go on down and then it's gonna circle around and it's gonna come back down the trail down through here. So there'll be a trail down here too and I'm going to assume it's probably going to be paved like it is up on top. So the trail we were just on again is going to loop around and come back down through here and back towards the um, main entrance of the park. Now the main entrance of the park, I want to say that's Williams Road out there. I can't say for sure but that where the uh, restrooms are at there's a little dead end road I think it's Williams but anyway where those restrooms are at that's going to be the main entrance that could be the main entrance so this will eventually lead back down to there but we're going to go up here and I'm going to see if I can get into the, the woods down there and see if we can see the pond Now, I did talk to him about that washout area. Because I said, on the map, it looks like you guys are actually going to fill that with water. They have not come to a decision yet on what they're going to do with that area. Again, like I said, they're going through some paperwork, red tape. All that stuff. He says it's taking time because there are several organizations that are involved. But... Um, he said what they'll probably do is not flood it, um, but to make it so it's safe, the edges, they will um, probably have to do some backhoe in there. Because right now the cliffs are straight, 90 degrees. And he said what they'll probably do is get in there with a backhoe and taper the hills off a little bit so they're not so fragile and possibly you know erode and fall in and possibly fall in on somebody so that would be cool i mean it won't be the way they look now but you know it'll still be open to us to get down there but like i said this end down here they're not sure what they're going to do with yet because like i said they're still going through a lot of legal things so, um, 
we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, they do have like they do have a a park map, and I'll put that park map at the end of the video. Show what they what it's going to look like, but again, that could change. But we're gonna go down here and see if I can get into the woods down here and find that pond. Again, there's Great Southern Shopping Center. Yeah, right over there in that corner. There's a good sized homeless camping area. I remember last time I was here. They got a dog. That's how I knew it was there because the dog started barking at me last time. He said they're still there, but he says they're nice people. Uh, and they're in the process of moving on out too. I don't know if they're the last homeless camp in here or not. Okay, so if we can get out there instead of the way I did get in. Yeah, when I was down here, I think in January, this was not paved yet. Well, I know for a fact it wasn't because he told me they just paved it this past summer. Well, it looks to me like I see a fence down there. I think he said there's a spot you can actually see part of the pond without going in the woods. But he says what they want to do is they want to take this pond if you watch one of my other videos, when we start walking in behind Lowe's, look at that video, and you'll see us going on, on the right side as we're walking back, you'll see a, a wetland on one of the other videos. Um, they want to, again, take this pond and, and fix it so it drains into the wetlands. I'm surprised it doesn't already, really. If it doesn't drain into the wetlands, where does it drain into? Yeah, I can see that camp over here. I can see a tent. Um, where does it drain into if it doesn't drain into a pond? I mean, these ponds drain somewhere. Yeah, it looks like there's a camp over there too. So I don't want to go that way because it looks like there's a homeless camp right there also. I don't want to go through their camp. Yeah, I can see the water a little bit. It's probably like, see a little bit of the water through there? It's probably like maybe 20 feet. Let's see if we can get down here. If we got an opening we can see through. Well, actually, it's not even that. I see. You can see water right through there. See it through the trees? If it wasn't for that camp down there, I'd go around, around it and go on in, but I don't want to walk through somebody's camp. And there's a camp over there too, so I don't want to walk through that camp. So looks like my only but the pond is right there. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but I know I can see water. I could go around to the other side and come in from the other direction, but since nothing's really changed over there, I'm not gonna bother going around that way. That looks like Lowe's right there at that blue. So we'll see. Maybe I'll walk out there and see if we can see it from the Lowe's parking lot. I don't know if that camp right there is active or not. I don't see any people. But 
I don't know. So this is what we got so far. This is where they're doing, he said 100% of the work right now is this area right here. They haven't touched any other areas other than that valley we were just in where they removed a lot of cars. He says, why are you disturbing me in my dinner? Okay, I'm actually in the parking lot now. We're well, behind Lowe's and so forth. Great Southern, that's the park over there. I'm gonna try to see if I can come down here and get a better look at that pond. Uh, but anyway, some of the things that Ranger was telling me is they're gonna put some play areas in here for kids. They, they may put some fitness uh, equipment in here along that path down there we were just at. Um, between the, the paved trail and the woods. He said they're thinking about doing something like that. Um, but there, the way he spoke that this is really still in deep planning. Okay, so what he may say they're going to do or may do today may change in the future. I don't know. But uh, since I was here, I believe in January, the only thing I've seen different is it's paved now. That section is paved and they put up that fence and they took out a bunch of those cars down in the ravine. He said this down in this area where the washout's at and so forth is totally untouched. And nothing's been done down here. and. It will not be done until they get a lot of paperwork and stuff done. And like I say, that's why I'm not going to bother going through here and videotaping it. Just look at one of my past videos if you want to see this section down here where the washout's at. I'll put them in the description box below. Okay, now I'm down here at the south end on this side. Over there is the wetland. This isn't the way you usually go back. The way to get back to the other end where the washout is that little drive there and you walk back the drive on that side to where this wetland right here will be on your right side instead of our left side as it is here. Well, I'm gonna go back this because I'm not sure how far back this will go. I don't know if this will take us to the pond or what. It looks like it might just go right here as a loop and end. I don't know. I don't have bug spray with me today, so I don't feel like bushwhacking through all this vegetation and coming out with a thousand ticks on me. So that's why I'm not really going to go through all the brush today. I don't feel like picking ticks off me all afternoon. go that way. I'm going to go over here for a minute and see if I can get a good picture of the wetlands. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to let me. Look at all this trash. There is definitely a lot of trash back here. See, there's the road over there. That road there will actually take us into the wetland, but this might take us over to where I can see it. Yeah, no, 
And let's go look for the pond. Like I say, I'll put the video link below so you can see the wetland I'm talking about. I want to try to find the pond that they want to link to the wetland. But I don't see any stream in here, so apparently yeah, it does not link. So I'm not sure where the pond drains at, unless it maybe just seeps into the ground. Again, I don't want to walk up on somebody's homeless camp. This looks like the washout here. This isn't the pond. Yeah, this is the washout. The pond's over there. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to get to the pond right now. But I can give you a quick look at the washout now. This is the washout. This is the one I'm not sure if they're gonna fill with water or not. But he says that they said they'll work with the edges because you see the edges are pretty steep. Trees up on that, I mean that, that right there in front of us could fall. All it takes is a good rain to wash that up and weaken it. It's probably already weak. And that could fall. And that could definitely hurt somebody, if not kill them. So, is, He's telling me that what they'll probably do is come in here and try to taper that off it so it's not so you know, straight and make it more of an angle so it's not going to wash out so easy. Hate these things, man. It stick to your clothes.
Okay. I have no idea where this trail is going to. I was hoping it may lead to the pond. And it may, I don't know. That's probably parking lot up there we were just at earlier. Well, cannot get out there. Trash. A lot of trash. Okay, that's the washout over there again. What's this here? more wash out all right we're heading back out of here yeah there may be two ponds back here um but i was trying to find the other pond and i ran into another homeless camp so i forgot to just head on back out of here So this is the update, it's not a lot since my last one, back I think in January, but it's, uh, it goes to show that the work is being done, slow progress, but progress nevertheless. Um, hopefully in 2025 it'll open, maybe they'll open it in small sections like they did quarry trails um, he didn't say so but I'm, I'm getting the way he was talking that the section that they're working on now today the paved section will probably open before this section over here where the washout and stuff's at because um, they still got some things that they need to get done before they can even get in there to do anything really so it may open um, in sections. Uh, that's what I am thinking, just by the way he's talking. I could be wrong, but I would expect it to be that way. That the northern end will open sooner than the south end. But this is going to be called Great Southern Metro Park. It is behind Great Southern Shopping Plaza. And I will also put the link to the other new Metro Park called Banks Run. I cannot think of where it's at. It's an old YMCA camp. I'll also put the link to that video below. I haven't done an update on that one since um, we did the official tour. So I don't know how much they've done on that. I've heard they've done quite a bit. They had an advantage with Banks Run because Banks Run was already an established park. So they had a big advantage where this one here is not. They're starting from scratch. 
so uh, I'll come back out here maybe end of the year and see how things are going from there.